Hello and good day everyone. I'm gonna go through some just some quick recolors. Now I, I put together this test livery. It's a just a, a basically right now it's a default blank. I did include a, a blanked out uh, uh, livery file, so it'll blank the livery file. Other the you know the default livery. Other than that, and uh, but I'm not going to be doing anything. This is mostly on the interior. This is the project that I just gotten through when I made this uh, paint kit slash UV files, and I was working on the interior. So I'm going to be working on the interior of it, and uh, just to show, people have asked how to use the. Uh, uh, okay, this is the front seat. How to use the. Uh, UVs and such. So here, here's the front seat, and here's the UV. Now, normally, you know, this is this is what you have. So you select this, and this is in Paint.net. It you can use uh, any any program that does layers, and we'll layer that up, and we'll oh, good board, well. Wow. I selected all, I just didn't hit copy. There we go. And then you you have two layers. This is one image, but it's two layers. So you can manipulate each layer individually. I'm going to select the bottom layer. I'm actually painting on the bottom layer. So if I wanted to say, and the, knowing what the parts are is a big part of just trial and error for me. Uh, but like this is the back of the front seats obviously this is the cockpit seat front so these are the top of the seats and the bottom of the seats and it, this is the vector lines show you how it wraps around the, the object now the way you're supposed to use these is simply you layer it on top of your your uh, texture and then you just paint and in this case we'll uh, just for a, a, an example, well, let's say I got a mess not even big enough. There we go. Alright, so I wanted to paint this bright purple. and <laughs> Not that you would, but all I'd have to do is color in anywhere that these vector lines show. And, and you notice how I, I, I can use slack that's in between parts because that won't show up anywhere. So you just color this in, and, and and then when you then when you get done, I'm I'm not gonna bother because I'm gonna back all that out anyway. Let's say, well, heck, what? Well, just take a second. So let's uh, get a bigger brush. I'm not gonna load this in, but you know, let's do this all in one step, so it'll be less to back up. And there, you would definitely have a bright purple <laughs> seat, but there we go. So, is what we need is that, not this. But now we have the seat painted, or the top part of it, you know, this being the bottom part. This is the back, and like I said, that's just figuring it out. So then I would just delete that. I mean, not the actual file, but I would delete that layer and hit save. Now, that's not how I paint. I mean, it just to me, that's just, I'm going to back out of here. Okay. Oh, what did I do? Anyway. All right. And we'll go ahead and delete that. Uh -oh. There we go. Okay. Now, I do like to have this up for reference, but I make just simple cockpit. And here's here's what I use. So I'll edit, uh, select all, copy. Let's get rid of that before I really make something screwy. And then again, we always layer it up and we paste. Now you can see kind of a little better and you don't have all the vector lines to show you where it wraps around. I, I add these. These are were kind of hard, but anyway. And then, uh, so to color, I'll just open. This is just a color swath. A couple of colors I like. 
uh, I'll paint right on my layer rather than on the background. And there, I just do that so I can see it. Let's see, uh, let's go uh, with the outside of the seats. And then we'll pick a blue. Uh, and we'll do like these inside metal cushions and those are the uh, headrests so that'll, that'll be a good one now instead of deleting like this one you have to delete you have to get rid of this one I'll actually merge down because actually these other lines uh, in fact let me uh, show you here in fact, uh, let's see, edit, select all, copy, and then I'll layer this one up, and paste. And this is basically how I do it. I, I lay one over the other, and if you zoom in, I'm just outside their lines. Yeah, I'm just outside this line, so you can actually merge this right in. Now, in this case this black line is pretty much down inside the seam. The only place anything really shows, and luckily it's not much, is on this one. I back out. On this bottom one I have a line right here. And that's because it's not really a seam, but it's it's a and let me let me see it. Yeah, it's actually just a, a a seam for the stitches, not not like a, a folded in tucked seam like these. So this one actually is kind of visible, but barely, and it's not much. All right, so yeah, we'll just, uh, this one looks good for now. We'll merge that, and we'll save it. That's a albedo, so we'll save it as a, the first choice in the list there. And save. Okay, now that's that one. Uh, don't save any of that crap. I don't even know what that was. And then uh, where's the uh, texture folder? So yeah, there's that one. And here's the other seats. This is the cabin seats. Let's go ahead and do something to them. I, I wasn't really doing a, re a whole, planning on doing a whole recolor, but uh, And paste that over the top. Get rid of all of our selections. Now I see where the other one is. Just so. And red is the outside edges. And I don't know where the outside edges is. We're just going to throw some colors in here. I don't know that it's going to be. Uh, that it's going to match it per se, but let's go with that. I'm not sure where I put all those colors, but <laughs> and then we'll merge that down and save it. And then one more we'll do, just to fancy it up a little bit, is the uh, floor panel. Now, again, like I said, I, I did these nice simple sketches to isolate the parts I needed. But you could do it with these. It's just a lot more difficult. And these are the three parts that I'm going to paint. Like I said, again, finding out which part is which is the hardest part. A lot of times I'll take this and just make a... <laughs> something like that on it and then find that part whatever but uh, so we'll edit select all copy roll that into here and uh, I, naturally I don't have the color we'll take uh, some red on this one There we go. Now I'll 
merge that down so it's one and back that up <laughs> say that and same thing we're just doing three albedos all right and so basically we just added some color to these three files and that's it and this is the right one right yeah okay so then we'll just throw this in my uh, uh community folder and we'll try it out but that's how i mean that's basically the whole thing and and you learn to use those layers they're very powerful tools to have in your workbox uh, if you're if you're trying to learn painting from brand, from scratch I really would think you might rather look into learning how to do it in in, uh, in blender and 3d uh, just because there's a lot of issues to 2d painting now now the interiors I'm not even sure you can do in 3D, and if you do, they'd, they'd be a, there'd be some tricks to figuring it out. Uh, I'm, I'm not I, I'm not proficient at all with Blender. I barely know how to <laughs> open and close it. But it is much easier if you know how to paint in Blender. You know, I just I, I don't I, I know how to use some pretty simple tools to do some pretty extensive stuff in 2D that I just can't do in. 3D, so I I tend to do a lot in 2D that people others would would probably find easier if they knew if they were learning from scratch to to start with them and and uh, and 3D to start with. So I mean, you can use the regular, and in fact, even on the the interior that I was working on when I when I started this, you can use the uh, you know the regular UV file straight off, and you get those from Blender, by the way. That's one of the things you can learn to do is make your own. Uh, did I not? Uh, why am I not seeing it? Huh? Oh, yes. I need to find the livery. <laughs> there we go. That might help. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you can see I have the delivery blanked out, so you can. Use, yeah, there you go. You can even see the seats and stuff there. There we go. There you go. And yeah, that's actually not a bad looking. Uh, Set up. I guess these should probably be blue just for fun. But yeah, that's and right here is where I, that one seam I was saying. Yes, it's it, these others don't show at all. But if, if you look right here, you can actually see a little bit of that black line, but it's right in the stitches. So that's how you use them. Uh, I'm gonna close off the uh, video. And I did, I've already uploaded, uh, like I said, that template, and I changed the name, and I, uh, I just uploaded this exact template I was making, working with. It's named Test, I didn't rename it to, like, uh, you know, normally I'd name, name this to Template, or, you know, this Test here to Template. Be sure and go through and change everything. All these test folders, change them, change the uh, the pointers here, 
of course you're going to want to change the variation name to whatever you decide to call it uh, you don't have to mess with any of those files and then when you get done always rebuild this and like I said if you don't have this layout generator I, uh, it's, it, it's on the download where you'll get this uh, livery and that's pretty much it y'all have a wonderful day and thanks a lot for joining in